right? Oh, like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Okay. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Santa, the big guy, with a double dose of Christmas cheer and a big shout out for a set of twin brothers who will be completing another successful trip around the sun on their 23rd birthday. December the 23rd, they'll be celebrating their birthday in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, as they're celebrating Christmas on a vacation with their mom and dad. I'm talking about you, Jake and Nick, and Santa loves you very much. I hope you have a happy birthday, a very Merry Christmas, and a safe, happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. But I want to know what happened this year, guys. You barely made the nice list. You both need to get along better and not fight so much, especially when you're playing Madden football, or one of you wants to change the channel when you're watching a Hallmark Christmas movie. I'm about ready to take you and throw you on the naughty list. I saw your Christmas wish, uh, wish list, which includes new bunk beds, matching sweaters and slippers, a drum set, Luke Combs tickets, and cold Michelob ultralight beer. Well, you can forget the beer. What's the matter with you? You think I'm running a brewery up here at the North Pole? Are you? And you guys haven't even started shaving yet. Santa loves you anyway, and there will always be a special place right here in Santa's heart just for you. With the help of my elves, some very special friends of Santa have recorded birthday and Christmas wishes for you. So enjoy. Merry, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, my name is number 72. Oh, shoot, no, 27. This ain't my jersey. This is the new jersey. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you about football. If I did not play football, I would not be playing football today. Anyway, I want to tell you that make sure that if you play football, make sure that you always wear a protective equipment, such as your helmets and the shoulder pads. Don't ever go on the field without these things on because you can get seriously killed. Football is a dangerous game. I myself, when I was a little children, I'd be playing football with my friends, and totally by accident, my head was ripped from my body, and my head was laying in the mud, and my body was running around tackling stuff like this here, and my head was in the mud saying, K -k -k -k. finally, one of my friends picked up my head and put it back on my body, and I'm fine today. But the doctor did tell me that I had Dane Bramish. Dane Bramish. Dane Bramish. Anyway, something like that. Anyway, I'm okay now. But if you make sure that you always wear protective equipment. Now, the most important piece of equipment is called the cup. Now, it ain't no Dixie cup, and it ain't no coffee mug. And you certainly won't want to be drinking nothing out of it. But what it is, it's a piece of plastic. It's a piece of Tupperware like looking thing. And it goes down here over to Willie Johnson. And then you can't get hurt when you're wearing your cup. Look, you can't get hurt when you're wearing your cup. See that? It's like you're Superman. Now, I'm actually explaining something to you. I don't have my cup on, and I can't see nothing right now. I can't see. Anyway, hey, wait a second. I'm not here to tell you about football. I'm here for your special announcements. Today, December 23rd, that's what today is. Did you, did you know that? Yeah. It's the 23rd of December, a day that I always remember, because that was the day that Jake and Nick was born. I, I think your birthday was around December 23rd. At least that's what I heard that you celebrating it right now, down there in the, in the Smoky, in the Smoky Mountains. Down there, be careful down there, because the good old boy don't like when he's doing the Smoky in the Smoky Mountains. Anyway... Uh, yeah, you think Gatlinburg. I know that well. I know that area well. I used to go there all the time to do the smoky, smoky mountains. Anyway, I'm so happy that uh, Nick and Jake 
it's, it's your birthday and you're twins. Ain't that amazing that you're twins? And I bet Jacob, Jake, I bet you was born after Nick because your name actually means to follow behind like a heel grabber. You was grabbing that Nick's heel when he when he was born before you. That's your, what your name means. Jacob means that in Hebrews, in Hebrews, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, Hebrews. That's uh, that's in the Bible. So I don't know if you know about that. Anyway, uh, anyway. Oh, by the way, and you twins. My sister. I got to tell you this. This is amazing, man. My sister had had babies, and they was twins. It was a boy and a girl. And my sister, I love her so much. You know what she did? She said, "You could name him if you like." So I said, "I could name the babies." They said, "Yeah." And I said, "Okay, I'm gonna name the girl Denise." And then she said, what you going to name the boy? I said, the nephew. And that's their names now, Denise and the nephew. Anyway, I'm so happy that it's your birthday. I hope you have fun out there in the, in the wilds of Gatlinburg, in the mountains of Tennessee. It's probably snowing now. And uh, I hope you're having fun, man. Uh, happy birthday. Happy 21st, 32nd, 23, 30. Who, okay, 26th, 30th, hike. I don't know, man. I, 23rd birthday on the 23rd of December. Uh, this is a day. I, I was, and I did that already. Anyway, uh, happy, happy birthday, boys. Merry Christmas. And I got to tell you something. Your daddy loves you. Your daddy, Mick, he loves you. He got in touch with me. He says, I would like to make a video for my boys. And I said, it cost you $5,000. He said, okay. And now I got $5,000 on your birthday. It's a wonderful day. Anyway, I'm, I'm kidding. It didn't cost that much. It's a little less. But uh, this this whole video comes from your hero and the greatest dad ever, Nick. That's who it's from. So, boys, happy birthday. Merry Christmas. And enjoy yourselves. I have to press the button to stop it. There's no editing on this machine. You got to do everything by hand. And I don't have like a TV crew or nothing. So I got to do it by myself. I got to find the right button to push so it don't disappear. And I have to do it over and over again. God bless you boys. It won't stop. I guess I got to keep going. Happy birthday. Jake and Nick, it's Carly Pierce, and I heard that y'all are turning 23, which is amazing. Um, happy birthday and Merry Christmas. Um, I heard that I am a close second to Morgan Wallen for y'all, so I will take that as a compliment. Um, I hope that you have the best year and the best Christmas and the best end to the, to the year and that 23 is your best year yet. Um, I also want to just give a shout out to your mom, Nikki, and your sisters, Brooke and Carly, who um, apparently are huge fans of mine, which makes me really happy. Um, also, your brother from another mother, Kobe, who apparently has my picture as his screensaver and song as his ringtone. So I'm a big fan of Kobe. Happy birthday. Hey, Jake, Nick, how the hell are you guys? Yeah, I'm just putting on a foil. Every game, hey, you want some? I'll get ready. We got Broome County tonight. That large ass Barkley Donaldson's in the lineup. So, you know, last time we played him, he called us names. Called us names. I'm not gonna put up with it. He's not gonna be jumping us tonight, be ready. I got the heavy duty stuff on. But hey, listen, guys, I gotta tell you, I heard from your dad, Mick. What a good guy, eh? Thanks the world of you. Loves you dearly. Call me up and say, hey, Jack, I'd like to give a shout out to my boys. Got the 23rd birthday coming up. 23 years, fellas. I mean, you know what? That's a milestone for most people. You know, it's kind of like scoring 23 goals in one season, eh? Something I never done. Now, I'm getting 23 penalty minutes in one game. You and I can have a talk about that. But congratulations, 23 year old. But I said, hey, Mick, before I give a shout out to the boys, you got to tell me something about them. Now, let me ask you, Mick, are they the kind of kids that 
that if they were playing hockey, they'd play old time hockey like Eddie Shore, Dick Clapper, and Toe Blake. They'd go out to every ship and put a stick in someone's side and let them know they're there. They'd throw elbows in their face and let them know they're there. They'd put lumber in their teeth and let them know they're there. Are those the kind of guys that they'd be playing hockey with? He says, yeah, that's them. I says, well, let me ask you this, Mick. Let's say you were all on the ice at one time. Let's say you're playing Broome County, eh? And all of a sudden, someone from the stands threw a tire chain or a monkey wrench or keys to the camper. And Mick, they hit you in the face. Would those boys be the first ones up over that glass to stand up to the fans, to stand up to security, and by God, to stand up to the pin vendor? Is that the kind of guys they'd be, they'd be standing up to the pin vendor? Yep, that's my boys. I said, well, then, you know, you got to do something really special for these kids. I mean, and I'm willing to help this out, right? So here's what I'll do, Mick. I says, I'll get a hold of Maurice Wanchuk call. I'll call Maurice, call him up, and I'll say, hey, Mo. I says, you think maybe you can track down that underwater specialist from FLA and have her show up? Or better yet, how about the barmaid from the Palm Mile? You know, the one with nipples hard as little rocks. Or you know what, let's do this. We'll give Billy Charlebois a call. I think he's still in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. And if you're not in the middle of a fashion show, he'll answer the phone, right, Mo? And we'll ask Billy to send down those sparkle twins, you know, those blonde bombshells, to show up at the birthday party. Then I said, wait a minute, Mick. I got the perfect idea for the boys. Here's what I'll do. Mick, you build and order the big birthday cake, and I'll track down Hannah or Hannah's wife, Suzanne, will have her jump out and say, happy birthday, boys. You think they liked it? He said, oh, man, I think they'd really love that. But you know what, Jack? They're in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I'm not going to be able to be there to do that for them. And I says, oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? Your dad asked me to pass this on to you. He told me to say, hey, boys, from the friggin' greatest hero you know, the greatest dad ever, they want to wish you a happy birthday. So listen, boys, I'm here to tell you, not only a friggin' happy birthday, but a friggin' Merry Christmas and a friggin' Happy New Year from your friggin' greatest dad in the world, huh? And from me, Jack. So happy birthday, boys. And oh, wait a minute. Before I say goodbye, you know, we had this GM by the name of Joe McGrath. He could never figure out, he'd always forget the name of the guy that used to purposely get penalties to go in the penalty box so he could, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we finally figured out uh, who that guy is. It's your Uncle Sean because he loves old time hockey and he loves to jerk off. Hello, Jake and Nick. This is Danica McKellar. Your parents tell me that you are turning 23 on December 23rd. Happy birthday! And that you guys are going to be in Gatlinburg, Tennessee for your birthday. That's going to be so much fun. Um, but I understand you are huge football fans and there is no NFL red zone football happening that weekend. So you're going to miss Scott Hansen. That is, your parents told me to say that. I don't know what any of that means. But um, they say that watching my movies is a close second. <laughs> In terms of your uh, favorites. So anyway, I'm so glad to hear that you enjoy watching my Christmas movies on Hallmark and also on Great American Family. So um, thank you so much for that. My latest movie, Christmas at the Drive-In, is re-airing throughout December. So you can find it um, many times. It'll be airing. So I hope you enjoy that too. And in the meantime, I want to wish you a happy birthday, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And thank you so much to your parents for booking this video because I donate all my proceeds to children's charities. Right now it's places like Child Help, My Stuff Bags, and also some organizations helping to fight child trafficking. So thank you so much for that support. And Jake and Nick, have a wonderful birthday celebration. And for myself and also from every Christmas character that I've ever played, happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. Surprise, Jake and Nick, happy birthday to you. And this special shout out comes on behalf of your good friend, your dad, Mick. Oh <laughs> uh, man, this special message is really uh, about celebrating your birthday, saying Merry Christmas to you guys and Happy New Year. Uh, I know it's very special uh, that your parents uh, take the time, man, to uh, reach out to me after all these years. I understand many, many years ago that you were featured, uh, Jake, in a newspaper article in Spring Hill. 
And uh, I do remember attending that fundraising dinner in Spring Hill and how life has come full circle now. Thank you guys for all the support over the years to myself as well as my teammate. But right now, it's all about you twins, Jake and Nick. Happy New Year's to you. Merry Christmas to you. And happy 23rd birthday from your dad and the entire family. God bless you guys. Go Bucks. The Grinch, you really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus, you're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. Oh, hi! Grinch here, coming from my lair slash grotto. <laughs> like I'm on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Max, is this thing on? <laughs> oh, I hope it is. Anyway, Jake and Nick, I believe your mum thinks she's the Grinch, the audacity. Well, that's all right, but you know, look at me, I'm all Christmas, eh? I know she decorates the house all Grinch, eh? <laughs> but there is only one Grinch. Me! Anyway, <laughs> your mum wants you to let you know that the Smoky Mountains, there are no ribbons, no tags, no packages, no boxes or bags. And that this year, Christmas doesn't come from a store because Christmas means a little bit more. And your mum loves you, wishes you with all her heart down to the core. A happy birthday, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Bye. Yo, Jake and Nick. What's up, guys? It's Jeff Ross, the Roastmaster. Listen, your uh, hot milf drunk mom, your fat beer dad hit me up, told me you guys are turning 23 on the 23rd. <laughs> Hope you're having a good time celebrating in Gatlinburg. Your parents tell me uh, you're turning 23 on the 23rd. Wow, you really are fucking twins. Which one of you is better looking? I'm guessing neither. Your parents said that you're great boys, but they also call you dumb and dumber. Sounds like you have some really loving parents. Nashville Jake. You got your nickname because you got really drunk in Nashville. I thought it was because you look like an inbred hillbilly. <laughs> Sorry, Mom and Dad. At least you have big muscles. We call that special needs strength. Jake, you make your brother feel like a wee man. Your mom even says Nick is smaller in stature and in mind. But I guess that's her fault for drinking while she was pregnant. Nick, I know you have tattoos and a 4x4 truck to make yourself feel bigger. But it only lets chicks know that your dick is smaller. <laughs> I hear you guys love the movie Step Brother, so I hope you stick your balls on the drum set Santa's going to bring you. Oh, wait, I forgot. Neither of you probably have any balls. <laughs> but I hope he brings you the matching rainbow PGs. <laughs> PJs and bunk beds that you want. What the hell is wrong with you fucking guys? Anyway, uh, <laughs> I hope Santa brings your parents what they want, which is for you two to stay fucking far away from them and not move back in with them after school. Anyway, I know you're both at USF, which I'm guessing must stand for ugly, stupid fuckheads. <laughs> So happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year from me and your fat-ass beer-drinking dad and your drunk mom I'd like to bang. All right, Jake and Nick, happy everything. You guys are legends. What's up, guys? It's Slow Cash here. Hey, this message right here is for Jake and Nick. Dude, happy birthday. 23 on the 23rd. Guys, I'm pulling out my blue hair for this. That's incredible. So that's your golden birthday, man. Did you know, hey. You told me that. You know what? It's their golden birthday. They turned 23 on the 23rd. 
Happy golden birthday, y'all. Jake and Nick, man. Thank you guys, man. We appreciate you being low-cash fans out there. For sure, you're going to come to a show, and we'll get you backstage, and you get to meet us and hang out with us. Huh? Hey, we heard that y'all love country music, mm-hmm. and uh, you listen to Low Cash a lot, and we appreciate that so much. Plus, Merry Christmas, too. Christmas is coming. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Hey, your beautiful mama, Nikki, gets a shout-out, too, because she's awesome. Your mom and dad are great. Yeah, and your redneck brother from another mother, Kobe, Kobe out there. Kobe says hi, and uh, okay. Congrats on Kobe. I heard he's doing well in the country music area, and he wants to be a country music star. Hey, you know what? Let's hang out at a show soon, all right, boys? All right, Jake, Nick, take care, buddy. Hey, drink a whole bunch of beer. Let's go. Hold on a second. I see somebody from college. (laughs) Hey. Happy birthday, Jake and Nick. Happy 23rd birthday, Jake and Nick. Happy birthday to Jake and, and, and also, you know, the aforementioned Nick. Happy birthday to you. What's up, fellas? It's Mur. I'm in a hotel room in Indianapolis. I, I, it's a Westin. Don't, oh, did I just show my hotel room number? Don't show this video for like two more days anywhere because it might say my room number on the TV. Happy birthday, boys. On behalf of me and the guys, and of course, your mom and dad, who love you very much. We all love you. Like, you're, qu- you're as twins, you're very likable, I gotta say. I, on behalf of me and the guys from Impractical Jokers, we think you're awesome. Uh, next time we're in Florida, you, we gotta like hang out. It'd be super cool. Uh, and also, I, just a shout out, if you don't mind, to the, all your siblings. Luke, what's up? Brooke, what's up? Carly, it's Murr, what's up? That's all I'm gonna say. I didn't get you guys something. I should have. I, you know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to send you guys Sal from Impractical Jokers. Uh, he'll arrive there. He's gonna meet you guys in uh, Gatlinburg and uh, the Smoky Mountains where you're going for your birthday, which is very vague, but also it's either awesome or way too vague. Like you're going to the Smoky Mountains for your birthday. It sounds like a marijuana reference. I don't know. The point is this, have a great time in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Uh, <laughs> I, I, but what I'm gonna do uh, for your birthday, I'm gonna send you guys uh, Sal. He's gonna arrive there. Uh, he'll smoke up with you guys. I, again, I assume it's a pot reference. He's gonna smoke up with you guys and then he'll you know, come back. Uh, you gotta send him back. I need him to film the TV show. Anyways, happy birthday guys. Your mom and dad love you both. Uh, you guys are frankly adorable. <laughs> Take care, happy birthday, bye. Jake and Nick, Jake and Nick, Jake and Nick, Jake and Nick, what's going on? Josh Gates here from Discovery's Expedition Unknown, coming to you from the absolutely beautiful ruins of Bengmalia here in Cambodia. Incredible spot. I just wanted to drop by uh, to wish both of you uh, a very happy birthday on December 23rd uh, while you're vacationing in uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee for Christmas. I'm uh, much farther away. I guarantee you it's hotter here than it is in Gatlinburg right now. And uh, I just want to say happy birthday. I hope it's a great one. And um, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year uh, from your friend Mick, a.k.a. your dad. Uh, Also, don't forget the uh, terror of the uh, Bell Witch uh, there in the backwoods of Tennessee. Possibly there's a cave under the very cabin that you're staying in that the Grinch uses to travel through to steal gifts and their dad's beer. That's probably what's happening there. Uh, And uh, I understand, I want to say thank you, uh, Jake and Nick, because I understand that Expedition Unknown is your second favorite show. I'm losing out to the NFL Red Zone, which is number one. That's fair. I'll take that. That's okay. Uh, And I just want to say thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining us on our adventures each week to incredible places like this. Here are to many more adventures to come. And I hope to see you both, Jake and Nick, out in the world on your next expedition. So until then, be well. Happy birthday. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Keep smiling. And hey, stay adventurous. I'll see you out in the world. Bye-bye. For the final time this season, 
It's the witching hour when wins become losses and losses become wins. Hey, Jake and Nick, it's Dean Blandino from Fox Sports. Just sitting here resting, taking a breather after a very busy Sunday, NFL Week 14, sitting here by the Christmas tree, just relaxing a little bit. Wasn't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. You know, was not a great day for your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Not sure what happened today, but we're still leading the division. We're still in the driver's seat for a playoff game, a home playoff game, by the way. But enough about the Bucs. We're not here to talk about the Bucs. We're here to talk about you guys and wish you a very happy birthday, turning 23 on the 23rd. What a week we got coming up. We got your birthday on the 23rd. Happy birthday. We got Christmas on the 25th. Merry Christmas. And then we've got New Year's on the 1st. I want to wish you a very Happy New Year and an amazing 2024. I hope you have an incredible, incredible year. Listen, can't, can't forget, I got to do a special shout out for big number 77, your little big brother, Luke. Can't forget about Luke, big 77, and a shout out to your parents, mom and dad, the best ever, who wanted me to help them wish you happy birthday. And last but not least, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to set it up for my guy, a good friend of mine and an incredible 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 person and you see him every Sunday, you see him on your favorite show, that's right, the NFL Red Zone, your favorite favorite person, your hero, the one and only Scott Hansen going to give it up to Scott. Again, guys, happy birthday, merry christmas, happy new year. Take it away, Scott. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Hey, Jake. Hey, Nick. What's going on, fellas? Do you recognize this voice? It's your guy, Scott Hansen from NFL Red Zone. Nick, Jake, surprise, and happy birthday to you, fellas. Jake, Nick, you didn't think I was going to let 12-23-2022, your 23rd, just come and go without stopping what I was doing and giving you guys a special birthday shout out on the holidays. Did you? Guys, guys, you know me better than that. I wouldn't miss this. We spend every Sunday together. Am I right? You, me, your mom and dad, who you can thank for this personal video shout out, as well as Brooke and Carly. Big number 77. Shout out, Luke. What's going on, family? So, guys, I heard that you're turning 23. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Hope it's a great celebration. And so your dad especially thought it would be cool if the, the voice of your NFL Sundays would swing by to wish you all the best on your birthday, at Christmas, and into the new year as well. So I'm thrilled to be doing this. However... I understand, fellas, that this is the only part of my voice you're going to be hearing at this particular time. I mean, look, I love the mountains. The Smoky Mountains are awesome. But no red zone in Gatlinburg? What, what, what are we doing? I know, I know. Don't rub it in. It's already bad enough. You're going to miss 50, 60, 70 touchdowns this week. But I hope at least that one or both of you have some fantasy teams in championship and playoff mode, and then you can find out how your teams did. Look, it, family comes first, though, and I bet you it's an awesome celebration. I don't know if you got a tender Tennessee Christmas or not. That's a Christmas song that uh, Uncle Scott likes. Um, oh, speaking of Christmas songs, here's another one, fellas, for the whole family. 
It's the best time of the year. Okay, okay. I know it's cheesy, corny, whatever, but I love Christmas. My favorite holiday. And you guys... Obviously, you've had your birthdays always, you know, coincide right around at the same time. So, hey, by the way, I also know something else about you. You guys know that we have something in common? I know that you're USF Bulls, right? Respect. Before I came out here, I'm in Los Angeles right now recording this video where we, where we do NFL Red Zone. But before I started working for the NFL, once upon a time, I was a local sportscaster in Tampa, Florida. And I actually covered the first ever USF Bulls football game when they made the program from scratch back in the late 90s. Would have been like 98, 99, right around in there. Probably you guys were being born right around that time, right? I covered the first game. I, I love Tampa. I still love Tampa. I kept the house there for a while, even after I moved out here to, to California. Uh, but respect to your USF Bulls, respect to your Tampa Bay Buccaneers. As I record this, which is well before your birthday, but as I record this, they're starting to pick up some steam. It looks like the NFC South, it, you know, could be theirs once again. Just let them get in the tournament and see what TB12 can do. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Hey, but guys, shout out to the whole family. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. But happy birthday especially, you guys. Take care of each other, Nick and Jake. I know you do, and I know you will. I hope your 23rd year is your best yet. And I'll see you after you get back on the grid and get NFL Red Zone for the final, what, two Sundays of the regular season. We'll hit that Octo Box and do the Witching Hour all wrapped up in seven hours of commercial-free football. Happy birthday to you, fellas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. That's all, folks.